detective. Thanks for coming in. Happy to help. How are you holding up? Like everyone, I'm devastated. You knew Judge Sobel? Not well. You know, to say hello to. How's your daughter doing? Is she okay? She will be. We'll reschedule the grand jury, give her some time, process everything. Look at you. Excuse me? Butter wouldn't melt in your mouth. I'm sorry? What does that mean? Folks is dead. Somebody told folks Maddie was going to testify today. Somebody told him we were using the judge's entrance. Somebody told him where to find Judge Sobel. And folks told all of that to the shooter. Folks' phone records will tell us who that somebody is. But we already know, don't we? Only one person it could be. You know the drill. It'll go easier if you're straight with us now. Two years ago, folks had a client about to go to trial. I slipped him a few details about our key witness. The witness recanted, charges were dropped. And you've been his dance partner ever since. How much? The first time? 20. How much? 20 grand. Sold yourself cheap. Over and over. What choice did I have? I was trapped. Keep giving him what he wanted and take the money, or stop taking the money and lose everything. Sounds like a choice to me. You sold out my daughter. Got Donna Sobel killed. For what? For cash. What kind of person are you? One more thing. Why Donna? It was folks' idea. I said, pick a judge. He didn't like her. <laughs>